What's up, everyone? It's Tamara here, and I'm back with Allison and Winnie, and we are here today to bring you your Acro Fundamentals Lesson 4. We're jumping right into our cardio warm-up. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, clap four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, jump and clap. Come on. Jump. 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 Ready? Double jacks. And squat. One, two, three, feet. And one, two, three, feet. And one, two, jump. Beat those legs. Good. One, two, jump. Feet to the right. Right, two, three, and jump. Jump. This is the fun part, guys. Come on. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, step and back. Side, back, side, together. Side, back, double jumps. Out, out, in. 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 Out, out, squat jumps. And a one, two, plie, three, beat it, good. One, two, three, beat it, good. One. Yes, one, two, jump, and right, two, three, big clap. Smile, guys, say good morning, yeah. One, two, three, jump, jump, jump. Reach it forward and bring it together. Stretch it forward, pike, hold it there. Release the back of your head, roll it down. Breathe, we're going into our double jacks. Roll it up. Five, six, seven, and out, out, in. Out, out, in. Out, out, in. Out, out, in. There we go. Straight arms, stay together. Ready, squat it, and a one, two. Big jump, go, beat those legs. One, two, Three, point those toes. And a one, two, three, feet. One, two, three, feet. And shake it out. Done. All right, flexibility this month. We are taking it down into the mat, into our right lunge. Please, back knee is off of the floor. So we really want to make sure, Winnie, let's go ahead and have you turn into the face this way. You want to make sure that we're really lifting this thigh up to the ceiling as much as possible, pulling that tummy in so we're getting a whole nice deep stretch here. Good, hold it there. And we're gonna scoot that back leg in ever so slightly to come into our triangle stretch with both legs straight, pulling this right hip as far back as possible to keep our hips squared off and hold it. We really want to push this back heel into the floor, get a nice calf stretch as well. Good, go ahead and bring this left leg in to meet your right leg and switch into your left lunge. Hold it there, tummy is in. We're squeezing this quad and hamstring up to the ceiling as much as possible, nice. And hold it there as long as you guys need for your class. Go ahead and transfer into that triangle stretch, squaring those hips back. So we're now pulling this left hip back to keep those hips nice and square, there we go. And if you're not really feeling anything, you can always scoot your back leg out just a little bit further. Good, and bring that back leg to meet your front foot. And slowly roll it up to standing. Okay, we are down onto our stomachs. Hands are placed by our sides. Our legs are slightly open. Ready, we're squeezing those shoulders together and our elbows back, which we discussed in previous lessons. Ready, leading with our heads, four counts up. One, two, all the way up, three, Back on four, and lower, five, six, seven. Nice, Allison, better, and up one, two, three. Back on four, and lower, five, six, seven. In your class, you would do that two more times, but for the sake of this video, we're kind of shortening everything. Okay, adding the legs, pressing up, one, two, three, 
and four, toes to head, six, seven, beautiful girls, straight legs, one, two, three, thank you, Allison, four, and lower, five, head back, six, seven, one more time, head back, one, two, three, and four, bend for five, six, seven, eight, we straighten, one, two, three, open the chest and lower, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, go ahead and bring those knees and ankles together. Same thing, so again in your class, do this four times each for the video, we're gonna do twice each. Press it up, head back for one, two, three, four, and lower, five, six, seven, squeeze those elbows, way knee, head, two, three, get nice and bendy, and five, Six, seven, add the legs. We go for one, two, three, four, toes to head. Six, seven, eight, we straighten. One, two, beautiful, three, four, and lower. Five, ooey gooey, seven, and last time, one, two. I see some smiles today. Toes, five, six, seven, eight, we straighten. One, two, three, four, they lower, five, six, elbows back, seven, and finish. Nine. Arms pressed up into our cobra, shoulders are down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and we're gonna just gently circle our head to the right, nice and slow, try to keep those shoulders down, and circle our head to the left, because we want to, go ahead and keep circling those heads, girls, we wanna keep our necks um, soft, not tense, in all of our acro work. So you wanna make sure that you're working with having this nice long neck there and then now circle. So we're keeping everything long and there and soft. So soft head, but while the shoulders are pressing down. That was much better. Did you see how I changed them? Yeah. Okay, stay there, up in our cobras, point those feet. We're gonna place our left arm right in the center. Extend that right arm out to the side. And we're going to twist around and grab the outside of that opposite leg. Remember that your shoulders are still down, nice and long. Good, hold it there for five, four, three, two, and let that arm come back around. Replace it with the other side and twist it all the way around. Shoulders are down, girls, long necks. Stretch it out, squeeze and tuck your pelvis. And bring that arm around and relax it down. Pressing up into those cobras, moving on to our stick pulses. I did get this from a contorture package, um, so it's a great exercise for shoulder flexibility, mobility, and stability, all of those abilities. Um, we're gonna grab our stick in our right hand, and we're going to extend this up to our ear. Make sure that your shoulder is down, down in the back, okay? And we're going to pulse it. Do not bring this arm back in front of your face. It's only allowed to go behind your ear and right back in line with your ear. Okay, we're gonna do that eight times. So the fact is that, or the, the tip is that they're extending and they're, they're squeezing this arm by, by holding onto something and keeping it strong. So they're learning to keep this elbow and arm nice and straight. Ready, six, seven, here we go. Pulse it, one, two, three, four, Five strong, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, 10. Other side. Strong arm, six, seven, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, don't let that arm come back in front. So practice that one with your, with your dancers. Snaking through our cobras. So we're gonna have the girls start on their hands and their knees. Okay, and we're gonna be up into our cat-cow position, yes? Okay, we're going to be scooping with our head all the way down, elbows stay back, bum stays in the air, and I don't wanna scratch my mic on the floor here. But from there, you're gonna hover all the way down into your cobra, press up all the way back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, yes? And we're gonna lower all the way down one vertebrae at a time, elbows stay back, push back in your bum, lift it up to the ceiling, Try to keep your elbows in, not like I just did, and curl, okay? We're gonna do that four times, here we go. This is a great one. Six, seven, curl, start with curved spines. Seven, and head goes through, one, two, 
three, cobra four, down five, push back six, seven, curl it, eight, curl it, curl it, curl it, curl it, eight, like somebody just punched you in the stomach. Yeah, again, head one, two, three, cobra four, lower five, push back six, seven, curl it, eight, head one, two, three, scoop it even more, four, and down for five, slide your chest on the floor, six, seven, curl it, eight, curl, one more time, head, chest, down and up, lower down, push it back and up and curl. When you curl, not arch, yes, when you curl, make sure you tuck that head. All right, they gotta practice that one a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna come back and take our sticks. And this month, we are doing our knee back bends with the sticks. This is very hard. So they're gonna come up onto their knees. It's easier if you, if you do open your knees a little bit. We're gonna bring those sticks above our heads. We're gonna make sure that our arms are nice and tight, no wider than our shoulders, right, Allison? They're too wide. Bring your hands close together. There we go. Okay, we're gonna lift those shoulders up to our ears and we're gonna take it all the way back to try and touch the floor with that stick and then we're gonna bring it all the way back up and make sure we're breathing and not holding our breath. That was one, three more times, go. Shoulders up, look back at those hands, two and up. Keep those arms nice and straight and extended. Three, yes, that was much better. And last one, squeeze those arms and bring it on up, four. Good job, guys. Back bend series, we're gonna press it up into that back bend and we're gonna hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, squeeze and lift, two, right leg up, hold it, one. Right leg up, two, three, squeeze, four, point, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. left, one, two, three, four, nice strong straight arms, six, seven, eight, nine, and come on down, hug your knees, four rock and rolls, one, breathe, two, and three, and four. We're gonna press it right back up into those back bends, and we're gonna bring our right arm up to the ceiling for five, four, three, two, we switch for five, four, three, two, and we're gonna come on down and hug those knees again, Shake those wrists out if you need to, girls. Uh, we talked about taking stretch breaks in between your back bends to keep them from getting too big of headaches in their acro until they get a little bit stronger and used to it. So any kind of stretching in between your back bend series is perfect. All right, onto our backs. Let's see some opposites. We're gonna press it up into that back bend. Our right leg and our left arm. So again, if you're spotting, you can hold their hips and then switch other side. And we hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and take both legs up to the ceiling. Open up into our straddles and stretch and hold it there. This is one of the stretches I like to do that's pretty easy. They're right on their backs and then we can go right into the next thing. All right, press it up into those back bends. Four no feet, we hop for one, two, three, four, and we're rocking up on those palms for one, no hands, two, three, and four, before you come down, go ahead and walk those hands to your feet just a little bit. A little bit deeper back bend, hold it. Deep back bend stretch, but we don't need to go into chicken yet because we are not in that class. And then come on down. We're moving right along into our elbow back bend. They're gonna go ahead and press it up into their back bends. Remember to take one step back with your hands, yep, and then drop it down just one elbow at a time, not plopping, and then hold it there. Try to get your heads to look through your feet, and we're gonna push up back up one arm at a time into that back bend and then tuck our heads to come on down. Okay, so make sure that they are really using their shoulder blades and not scrunching on their necks. If they're hitting their heads too much or on their faces, then they still don't have the flexibility in that back bend or in their lats to get that position. So just take a little bit of time to, to get there. Okay, we're gonna go into zigzag. This is a new one this month. We're gonna press it up. We bring our knees and ankles together and then we're gonna keep our arms straight. We're just gonna sit our bum down like we sit. We're sitting in a chair, really opening the chest here and then bring it back down. Okay, I'm gonna have, go ahead and have Allison turn to the side. We can have both of you guys do it from the side one more time so you can see what it looks like. So they're gonna go ahead and press up. We bring our knees and ankles together. Squeeze your booty 
and sit it down, drop and hold. Perfect. Grabbing the insides of those feet, let's go all the way up into that basket. We're gonna hold it there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. So let's quickly review how you hold your basket. Okay, watch Winnie here. She's gonna grab, you're grabbing the inside of your feet. So watch very slowly. We lift up. Wait, go back. Go very slowly. So we lift up into this position, all right? That's your beginner basket. We start to bend those elbows so that they come all the way around to the front, okay? And it took them at least a year to get to that. They started just doing the, the easy pre-basket. Okay, next we're gonna go into donut. So uh, we're gonna have the girls go ahead and face each other. We do this falling to the right and to the left. Okay, we're gonna pull those toes to our ears and we're gonna tip it over to face the camera. Our heads go back, get those feet on both sides of your face and smile. Yes. All right, good job guys, come on down. So we do bas our donut falling to the right three times and falling to the left three times. Okay, this is a variation from our um, body halves, which is what we did in the pre-lessons. Now we're taking it a little bit further. So we're gonna open up our feet. We are going to grab our hands like so. We're gonna place them in front of our chest and we're going to squeeze our shoulders and our elbows together like so, yeah? So everything should be like squeezed. This needs to be tight, yeah? We need to, be, we need to see those muscles in between your spine and your shoulder blades squeezing together, yep. Okay, so we're gonna have your feet just a little bit wider than your hips, okay? So you should already have a little micro arch in your back, okay? Squeeze your, your glutes. We're going all the way down. We're gonna start from here, okay? The first thing, head is up, okay? You're not squeezed. And can you straighten yourself out? Okay, from here, we're gonna lead with our head all the way up. Keep looking back, 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 all the way back. And bring it all the way up and back down into that position. So your upper body, if you watch Winnie here, never changes. She's gonna go elbow squeeze. We're starting down here. We start flat back, yep. So she's going here, ready? She goes head, back, back, back. Squeeze your booty, keep those legs straight, elbows squeeze together, and then now bring it up. All the way forward fold. Yes, so this top part of your body isn't moving. Now to counterbalance that, make sure you're pressing your toes into the floor and pressing those hips forward. So you've got this, your lower half of your body weight in front of you and your upper going back. So it's balancing yourself out and you're not falling on your head, okay? Go ahead and try that a few more times, girls, on your own. There we go, and then keep it all the way down into that flat back again, yes? So I would do this with the class about four times, all the way down as nice and slow and controlled as possible. Squeeze those elbows together more, yes. And bring it all the way up and over, yeah? Then doing back bends from standing is going to just, it's gonna happen naturally. They're not gonna need your help, okay? Which is what we're actually going to do now. Okay. We're ready, let's take our arms up to the ceiling. Lift those shoulders up, look at those fingertips, take it all the way back. Head goes first all the way down and bring it all the way up. So I would do this about three times in, in this, go ahead and keep going girls, two more times. In this class, you might still need to be spotting. Um, so you can have your TAs walking around, you can have yourself walking around, spot at least two people going all the way back, coming up three times, all right? By the end of this year, this level, everybody should be able to do this by themselves. Do three twist ups around the world, nice and slow to the right, ready? Remember that right arm goes out, our fingers go down, we place it behind us, our other arm goes in between our legs, and we go nice and slow for us, please. We're gonna circle all the way around into that tabletop, into that back bend, fingers look at each other, transfer to the other side and come down and around to the left. Beautiful, Allison, thank you. Okay, let's do that two more times on the right, ready? We're still going nice and slow, so we can, everybody can see it, hands on the floor. Go ahead, Winnie, and transfer and around. Beautiful, one last time. And we turn that hand, Fingers look at each other, down and around, okay? And then be sure to do that going around to the left as well. One, two, and three, straight legs are up. Same as last month. And then come on down.
All right, we're not gonna spend too much time in the video on that because it is discussed in previous lessons. So practice those chin stands. All right, so as you can see, they are practicing their scorpions. We're doing this again. We do this for the entire year pretty much. So just keep working on those progressions. Um, by the end of the year in this level, you definitely wanna have everybody's toes on their head and the ability to hold it. Running straddles three times, no yoga blocks today. Ready, here we go. Press it up and hold it for 10, nine, eight, hands on the floor, seven, six, fingers forward, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice, good job. So you can still be using the blocks if you need to in class or you can take it down to the mat. Ready, two more times. Press it up, hold it for 10, nine, Eight, if you fall, just get back up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, good, last time, here we go. Push it, go, squeeze those muscles. 10, nine, eight, you can do it. Seven, six, five, beast mode. Four, three, good, two, one. Yes, we should have a holding contest for that one. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> no, we really shouldn't. So we're gonna go ahead and passe our left leg, so we're working our right leg first. So we're gonna take a passe here. We're lifting this leg into our chest, which we've done in the past, okay? And just opening the chest and practice standing really, really tall. From here, this month, we're adding a hip press. So I'm going to slowly start leaning backwards, pressing into that hip flexor, and pressing my pelvis forward. So if I turn to the side, which I'm gonna have you girls go ahead and turn to the side, and I stand here like this, it's actually not a bad idea to be by a wall either but um, you shouldn't need that wall. Okay, I open my chest. My bottom leg, my supporting leg is burning. Okay, and then I'm going to dip into that hip flexor and try to hold it here a little bit further. Okay, keep that supporting leg straight. Here we go. Your chest. So lift your chest up to the ceiling. Yes, and point that bottom foot. All right, so this is your elevated passe. And then now we're gonna lift that knee even, even further and take your chest and dip into that lift. It's almost like you're going backwards. Straight bottom leg, squeeze. Hold it for 10, nine, squeeze your bum. Eight, seven, six is burning. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. All right, turn to face the other side. Here we go. So did you guys also see, teachers, how I was correcting them? I'm using my hands and my feet to just make sure like you tap those muscles to make sure that you wake them up. Ready? Squeeze, hold. Straight bottom leg and dip it into the hip flexor. Hold it there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good balancing. Pike headstands, we're on the floor. Everybody's in the center. We all know how to fall. We all know the positions that we are getting into. So this is simply just about practicing. Remember to spot, you can stand behind them and place your legs right in front of them here, like acting like a wall so that they can start to lean back on you and hold it for 10 counts. All right, well done girls. Thank you. Make sure those elbows stay in and pressing down into the floor. All right, let's go ahead into our elbow stands. We're going to double attitudes. I'm gonna have Winnie turn to the side for us. Okay, so you're not really gonna hold that long in this, at this age and level, but well done, Allison. Um, it's gonna be a lot of just kicking up and finding that balance, all right? How I spot it, okay, what, go ahead and come on down for me, Winnie. These are looking good, guys. Okay, we're gonna come onto our elbows, all right? I always say dome out your back, round out your back. So, wait, freeze, just press, yes. Do you see how she curved? That's what you wanna do first, so that we're, we're pushing our shoulders out and down into the mat. All right, one, two, three. She's gonna go into that double attitude. Yep. Okay, so while we're here, okay, I hold the back leg to help. Now from here, make sure you're also just brushing their shoulders and saying lift, lift, lift. So I'm saying lift, 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 lift. Up and out, up and out of that shoulder socket. Okay, and if you get somebody who has a really bendy back, so let's have Allison turn to the side here so we can, we can all see. All right, Winnie, go ahead and take a break. So Allison's down, she's gonna kick up. So she likes to sit, oh, did you see that lift? That was beautiful. So she likes to sit in her back a little bit. She's very bendy. So she's working on lifting up and out of her shoulders and lifting up and out of her lower back to balance that a little bit more instead of just scrunching so much that her feet are like flat on the floor underneath her. We'll go ahead and just do one. Um, what I like to do is, yep. 
walk around the room to at least three people, tap their knees, toes, and then I also squeeze, try to pull their legs apart. You shouldn't be able to pull their legs apart. They should be squeezing those legs together. Yep. And then also I lift them up so that they're lifting out of those shoulders and then they can hold it. Okay, technique portion, we are going to do, um, we're getting these sliding discs. We're gonna do a forearm plank. We're gonna make sure our head is in line with our bodies and our bums stay down. Ready? We go out and in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, slow down. Five, four, three, two, if you want to, go ahead and stay up there. You can also add some mountain climbers. Their feet are, their feet are there. Watch Winnie here. She's going to slide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay? Just, yeah, go with, go with your gut. And if you come up with something clever to do with the discs, add it in there. All right. Grand Bama is on the right leg. Five, six, seven, eight for one. Two, stay together. Three, four, five, six. Get ready to snatch it. Go, snatch and hold. We stretch. Two, three, hip down. Four, five, six, seven. Left leg, we go. One, two, three, four. Keep that knee straight. Five, six, seven, and snatch it. Hold for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Soar. A little bit. Go. Hands together, feet together, point beautiful up. Good, keep going. And go, Allison. Back rolls with a rebound. Nice. Keep those arms by ears when you jump. And you like to do your left, right? Step, hop. Good, left foot in front. And step, hop. One more. Step, hop. Okay, scoot all the way over. Bond. Yes. One. That's it. And then I'll switch feet. There we go. Better. You can still keep it a little straighter. One more. Okay, Allison, there's plenty of space to do it three times. Deep split hold. So this is a really cool pose that you guys can do uh, for partners. She's gonna grab, Allison's gonna grab the back of my neck and hold her hands. She's gonna lift whichever leg she likes, okay, her, her right leg. And I'm gonna grab just behind her, her ankle here. And from here, I'm gonna start to counterbalance and lean nice and far back into that split. Yeah, that's sore. Yeah, she's getting a nice stretch. And she's attached to my microphone. So when you're doing that deep split hold, when you partner up your students, make sure that there is a significant difference in height. So like Allison and Winnie together, they could probably make it work, but it would be a little bit more difficult. So sometimes I'll do it just myself and the TAs will do it with all of the kids. Um, it really depends on your class and what works for you guys. But that's what the, the partnering um, position is. All right, thanks guys for, for tuning in with us for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next month for lesson five. Bye.